Hi, welcome to Broken Bushcraft. I'm Adam. And today we're going to talk about how to make a rocket stove using a single log of wood. But before we do that, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And then let's kick this off. Okay, so a rocket stove. What does it do? <clears throat> well, it doesn't shoot off in the sky like a rocket. If that's what you're hoping for, you're losing out there. But a rocket stove is going to utilize one piece of wood to be a single, um, a self-sustaining fire, what you can also cook on, depending on the type of wood. So this is oak. If you had uh, pine, you can cook on it. Make sure you're using um, a pan or something like that. Don't open cook over pine because you're going to get all those oils up into your food. The um, things you're going to need are, you're going to need a scotch eye auger. So you have the bit size in there. You can twist this down and get about a one and a half um, to two inch. Those are the kind that gives you the best results. Or you can use a drill. If you're doing this at home or if you're going to um, pre-stage this before you go to the woods, then you can take, you know, you set the drill. Or if you have a small drill, you can take it with you, knock yourself out. It's your pack, it's your weight. <clears throat> so the way we're gonna do the rocket stove is we're gonna make two holes. We're gonna drill straight down, straight down through it, and then we're gonna drill straight into it. So these two holes are gonna intersect at some point, making an L, and the air is gonna flow through. Now, the rocket stove is great because one, is it's safe from, if it's the ground is wet, it's safe from that. Um, it's safe from the wind. And then it's burning one log instead of multiple logs. Now, um, one log about this size will burn about four to six hours. So that's a long time that you're not cutting a ton of firewood. Now, if you're not using a log that's about <clears throat> eight, inches, eight inches across, then you can use smaller logs, it doesn't really matter. You can use already pre-cut logs if you have um, a pre-cut log. You can drill the hole here and there and then or here and use this as a rocket stove it's going to burn a lot less but it'll still serve the same purpose protect it from the wind from the elements on the ground if the ground is wet um, and then allow it to be a single self-serving fire so let's get to it okay for the um point of not making this video go like 30 minutes um, I've already drilled a hole here on top and a hole here on the side. So these two holes, they intersect right about here if you look down into it. You can see through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up right here. And it is windy out. Um, and I'm going to use a fire starter. For this, I'm going to use some of my fat wood that I've cut up. Um, you don't want to just start stuffing kindling in here because it's just going to block the hole and it's not going to have a lot of oxygen to it. On the same token is is the wood needs something to burn so that's why i'm going to use the fat wood so as it's going as i start seeing the flame come up i may add a little bit to it but don't less is more in this situation because this is the you know the source itself okay so i'm going to light the fat wood get it going i'm just going to set it in there and let it do its thing If you do want to add to it, you put it right there and that'll help it come up. Okay, so I spun this around because the wind's blowing from this direction right here. Follow the smoke. As the smoke is going, you want to have make sure the air is pushing in into that hole so it's giving you the best um, amount of oxygen in there. So as, it's, as that fire is going, be sure to turn it every now and again or even blow, blow in there yourself. Um, otherwise, it's just going to go out. So you have to tend this just like a regular fire, just for a little while, while anyways. So you see how the rocket stove works, the water is boiling. As long as there's oxygen going in there, it, you know, it, it does take a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. So you're going to have to feed it a little bit of fuel, make sure there's oxygen always get in there. But this is putting out some good heat. However, um, if I needed to move this fire somewhere, I'll move my coffee. If I needed to move this somewhere, I could pick this log up 
and go. And I'm not gonna burn my hands with it. And it, so it transports. Um, so that's a nice, another nice thing about it. And then when you're done with it, it's self-contained. So really, if you just pour the water down in the hole there, it's gonna put it all out. But it does put a lot of heat out. I will obviously enough to boil water. So that's good. This is a good way to conserve your fuel if you are out camping and didn't bring a lot of wood or if you are in an emergency situation and you didn't prepare for a lot of wood. So the Scotch-Eyed Auger is something I do keep in my pack. Um, however, it is a little weighty, so you just gotta understand that. So it does it's not light, but it's not heavy. It's just an extra piece of gear that you can carry with you or not carry with you. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the woods.